Hi there! It's a really nice day outside, so I decided to talk to you out on my balcony. Recently, I discovered that McDonald's is giving out kids books instead of toys for their Happy Meals. And they are in English. So I bought a couple Happy Meals myself to get my hands on them. They're really cute. You have been collecting them. You probably discovered that there is no audio for these. At least I haven't found them. So I decided to read them to you so that you can play it to your kids or you can listen to it yourself. And uh, this is the one for last month for October. And this is the one I got for November. So in this video, I'm going to start with the first one. Get your book ready. All of the books are about the treetop twins and they go on wilderness adventures. And the first book is called The Twins Greet a Great Auk. The water swished and swirled as winds rippled its surface and creatures moved beneath. The treetop family have turned their time machine into a boat and traveled back in time to the 19th century to the North Atlantic Ocean looking for a bird that lived then called a great auk. The treetop family had been looking for nesting grounds all day and they still hadn't found one. They were tired and hungry and it was getting late. So they moored their boat by the shore so they could make camp for the night. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find an auk, said Tulip. I'm wearing my lucky crystal. That's not very scientific, said Asia. That moment, a white-tailed eagle came around the headland and flew overhead. It was carrying something in its claws. A ray of sunlight glinted off Tulip's crystal, sending out a little beam that confused the eagle. It dropped the thing it was holding into the sea and flew away with an angry screech. Professor Penelope waded towards the object and fished it out with a net. It was a big white egg with brown markings. This is a great ox egg, said Professor Pablo excitedly. The eagle must have been hunting in their nesting grounds. So now we know where they are, right around the headland. I told you my lucky crystal would help, said Tulip happily. Uh, it was just a coincidence said Aisha. The sun shining on your crystal got in the eagle's eyes. The treetop family walked around the headland. As they turned the corner, they heard a loud noise. It was thousands and thousands of pairs of great ox, and each pair was looking after an egg. Wow, said Ted. These great ox are nearly as big as me. The great ox were very loud and very clumsy. They had big black beaks and white bellies, and they weren't afraid of the treetop family at all. There are so many birds, said Alfie. How do we find who this egg belongs to? Professor Pablo placed the egg gently on the ground and the treetop family walked away. And out of the crowd, two great auks came waddling up, squawking furiously. One of them lay down on the egg. That is amazing, gasped Alfie. How did the parents know it was their egg? It's because of my lucky crystal, said Tulip. Actually, Tulip, even though there are thousands and thousands of eggs, 
Each one has slightly different markings," explained Professor Penelope. So, it's possible the great ox recognized their own egg, just as we would recognize you, even in a big crowd of human children. You see, Tulip," said Asia. "There is always a perfectly reasonable scientific explanation." Nighttime, by the North Atlantic Ocean. The sky was still light as the treetop family had dinner around the campfire. I wish we could see the Northern Lights," said Tulip. "Um, what are the Northern Lights?" asked Ted. "They are where the sky lights up with colored flashes." Often green, pink, or yellow," said Professor Pablo. "It's a spectacular sight, and something you can only see when you are very far north, as we are now. And only in winter and early spring too," added Asia. "So as it's June." Your lucky crystal can't help you, Tulip. But when she went to bed, Tulip put her lucky crystal under her pillow anyway, and now she was dreaming of the Northern Lights. What a sight they were! In Tulip's dream, the night sky was alive with the most brilliant light display you could ever think to see. It was the perfect end to a perfect day. Luck may not be very scientific, but sometimes it works. The end to the first book. See you in my next video.